right, I'm gonna walk away from the skitter so you guys can hear me. So if anyone knows about the Detroit diesel engine, she purrs very, very loud. I'm gonna watch my steps because it's pretty icy still. Not as icy as last weekend, but still icy. So yeah, so today we thought we'd come and do a quick trip to the off-grid property. Let's get a couple more trees, you know, routine, same old, same old, what we do every time. Um, the only thing that's different, uh, well first we took uh, a little cruise out to get all the SD cards switched because you know that's our side by side. For all the new viewers out there we use the skitter as a side by side. Eventually we will buy a side by side but for now this is what we got. That's what we're using. Anyway so with that being said we're still going to do a couple logs out but uh, it's leaking hydraulic fluid over his boots so obviously we broke a line and uh, so he's just going to at least get a load in. We won't be able to get as much done as we wanted to, but you know what? That's that's the joys. It's an old machine. It's gonna break down, and uh, I always say it. It is what it is. So anyway, so he's gonna probably back up to a couple of the trees that he's gonna pull out, so it's not a wasted trip. But we're not gonna do much because it's leaking hydraulic fluid. So oh well, here we go. Another adventure at the off-grid property. It's the way we roll. <laughs> To do at least one load but let me show you the problem we got ourselves a puddle no, my foot took most of it. <laughs> As <you say> the <laughs> puddle is right there <laughs> yeah, my foot absorbed most of it <laughs> yeah. yeah i guess it did yeah 
easy yeah. fix yeah it's another connector in there like the same one that broke last time oh wonderful so they're probably at their lifespan yeah oh, yeah and i'm sure us using it in the cold probably yeah yeah, yeah. i know i know they're designed to work but yeah. here yeah. i am screaming again oh, yeah. he's like he's probably screaming too <laughs> you don't realize how much louder you speak when you got these on so i do apologize if i was screaming but anyways so that's that we we're able to get at least one load in. there was no point coming empty-handed um derek will fix that he doesn't want me to fix that i can tell you that i mean i can try but or maybe i'll do a video of me learning mm, we'll see we'll see i should i should learn not just operate i should learn to fix that's why i have derek I know I have a couple of people that always say he's uh, he's an army of one, and he is. He is absolutely an army of one. I could not do any of this without him. He can operate, he can fix, and he's a carpenter, he can build. Yeah, jack of all trade. I married the right guy. Anyways, so I think we're gonna load some firewood, as we always do, so that's what we're gonna do. And then we'll, fix this guy again always something right never a dull moment there's always something to do like no joke there's always something oh well you have what is it they say the more stuff you have the more stuff will break right oh well the sun's coming out it's warming up so that's good all right let's get some firewood
right, well, now I'm a mess. Get all the sawdust off of me. Oh, better grab the camera. Closing the doors. Yeah, huh? It's not cold anymore. Nice and warm now. Anyways, we got another load. Just like that. Another load. You know, we didn't get as much done as we wanted to, but it's part of it. It's all good. Yeah, it is nice now. <laughs> all right, well, on that note, now we have to head back to the farm, unload the trailer, and, well, gotta go get water to the horses today. Today's water day. And uh, move a couple bales out of the barn, have their feed ready to go for the week. Off to the farm to work some more. All right, everyone. As always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.